The U.S.-Mexico border is experiencing a full-blown crisis. About 100,000 people arrived there last month alone trying to get in here, and some, many did. One reason for this crisis is the behavior of the Mexican government. That country's economy relies, profoundly relies, on remittances sent back from the United States. That means instead of caring for its own poor, Mexico can just offload them on us, not to mention the poor of Central America. Despite this, Mexico still receives hundreds of millions of dollars in direct foreign aid from the United States, in addition to all the indirect aid NAFTA has provided. Is there any reason that should continue? Juan Hernandez is the Secretary of Migrants and Foreign Affairs for the Mexican state of Guan Guanajuato, and he joins us tonight. Thanks very much uh, for joining us, Mr. Hernandez. So we think of Mexico as an ally. I grew up right on the Mexican border. I've always thought of Mexico as an, as an ally to the United States, and I think the people are are friendly. But the Mexican government is clearly hostile to American interests. I want to read three quotes from a Mexican government official, and I'm, these are direct quotes. We are betting Mexican Americans will think Mexico first, even unto the seventh generation. Mexican immigrants to the United States are, quote, going to keep one foot in Mexico. They are not going to dissimilate, uh, assimilate in the sense of not being Mexican. And final quote, we have recognized that the Mexican population is 100 million in Mexico and 23 million who live in the United States. We are a united nation. Those quotes are from you. And I wonder if a government takes that position, <laughs> that it's sending foreign nationals that into your really country. Familiar. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's a hostile act. So why are we sending money to a country committing hostile acts against no, us? No, it's not, my friend. No, it's not. No, no, it's not a hostile act at what all. What is it, exactly? Uh, the United States and Mexico are friends. They are partners. No, I had mentioned, and I think that's a quote from about 15 years ago. Right. Uh, Has Tucker, your position you changed? the same as you did back then, and I hope I haven't gotten too old either. Ha no, We've been talking at, about at this for about 15 years. That, that is true. The, the so, Fox but, administration. Right, and, but I'm... And, 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 you know, and, that, and that's... And, and but has your that's, position that's changed? That's the problem, my friend, that here we are, 15 years, maybe uh, more... And the situation at the border, the, the migration, immigration system in the United States is still broken. I remember a dozen years ago, my friend, we were talking about how the United States, Canada, and Mexico should work together as three independent nations. I'm not pushing for uh, opening borders, but yes, we should work as a block. We have a good thing going. We do. You know, we we do. Commerce between so, but, 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 let, me, let me ask you, hold on. One hold, hold billion on. dollars so, every day. Every right. day. So, but and, why and should, sorry, no, tell me this. Some officials what, of the United States what, are now saying, let's right. close the border. Some officials of the United States. So, but why isn't the Mexican government <laughs> stopping migrants from Central America before they get to the United States? Instead, Mexico is encouraging them to come here. That's not the behavior of an ally. They're not welcome. They're not here legally. We have a process by which people can come legally. They're not going through that process. So that's an act of hostility. You can lie about it all you want, but we okay, both listen, know that it is. So why are we paying you money? No, 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 don't call me. Don't call me a liar, my friend. Let's talk about these immigrants. Number one, these are individuals coming, yes, from Central America. These are good people. These why don't are you stop? Families. If they're good people, uh, then about, why don't you? They're right now about 20,000. Why don't you let them stay in no, Mexico? No, no, no. These are families. 50% of them, uh, just a minute, my friend. The Mexican nation has been giving them visas. They can stay till uh, up to a year in the country of Mexico, work in Mexico. Why just a year? They are in a legal way, my friend, which is internationally the way to do it. They are asking wait, but, but hold on, wait, 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 wait a second. United States. Wait, 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 but I'm, that, I'm confused, I'm confused. For decades wait, that centuries. sounds, There's first of all, wrong with them no, actually, it that. sounds a little racist to me by the standards that you have explained. So you have these very oh, no. good people, wait, hold oh, on, no. <laughs> and you let them stay for a year don't at work permits. Racist, Why not let them do no, what we do? do hold on, no. Why not let them stay forever and vote in your elections, but remain Guatemalans and Hondurans unto the seventh generation, as you said about your own people, about Mexican citizens. Why not let them do that and stay forever? And they could maybe account for like a third of your population after 100 years. Why would that be bad? Why are you kicking them out after a year? These are, these are individuals that are escaping hunger that are escaping violence. Why not let them there stay? There are about 250 million people around the world that are migrating, looking for a, a better life. These individuals have chosen these good people. These are not bad people. Then these why are, not are you... Hold on. They please are answer my question. Look, the United on, States I get for it. asylum. But now, why not? Why don't you get... Why, it wants well, to or well, not. Slow down. So, They're someday, in Mexico. You allowed them over your border. Simple question. Why are you kicking them out? They're good people who just want to work. Why aren't you taking advantage of that? 
Mexico today, if you look at the last, I think it's six years, if you look at the numbers, Mexico has now deported more people to Central America I know, it's than just the wrong. United States it's has. Just, the it's, numbers have diminished and diminished so and diminished. So they're good people, but Let's you're look deporting at those numbers. them. The next time we're on, we'll All discuss right, them. Okay. No, no, but the, the, the okay. immigrants going right. to the United States have diminished. There are less and less people going in. And though that's, the United that's States true. needs All right. about All right. 300 we're out of time. to 400,000 people We're out of time. I still don't understand why these great people are being deported by Mexico. Mexico is a hostile power that is seeking okay. to let undermine me, our country and our sovereignty. Let me get one last thing in, if you'll, if you'll allow me. If it's one true and very short, it's got to be both those things. Let me get one last thing in. All right. Will you? Very short. Very quick, very true. I think we're being tested today, both in the United States and Mexico, how we are going to treat other human beings. In the state of Guanajuato, oh. we are going now, to do the right now, thing. Okay. In the Mexico, it's I'm hoping you're not doing we'll the right thing. thing. Actually, and now I'm getting mad. I'm going to stop United this. States, okay. That I love right. so much, it's, we'll it's, also do the right thing. I appreciate it, Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend.